Finally, we reach the last section of this course where we are going to quickly summarize the prevention and safeguards procedure related to cyber crimes. Along with the importance of having strong passwords and multiple layers of authentication, we should also be aware of securing our social media profiles and smartphone as these are the platforms that get compromised the most. Cyber crimes can have severe consequences for individuals and organizations. Victims may suffer financial losses due to unauthorized transactions or loans taken in their name or stolen savings. Being a victim of an online scam can result in stress, anxiety and emotional trauma. Identity theft can ruin a victim's credit history, making it difficult to obtain loans or credit in the future. In some cases, victims may inadvertently become involved in illegal activities for crimes they did not commit. In this course, you learned how to identify the vulnerabilities like unknown attachments or links, assessing risks like accessing insecure Wi-Fi and mobile networks, and reviewing your social media privacy settings, and implement countermeasures like strong passwords, multi-factor authentication, using reliable websites, and reporting suspicious activity. We will also learn about the legal agencies and sections related to cybercrimes in India. We hope that this course has been able to ignite your passion about cyber crimes and the importance of cyber security. Assignments with real world scenarios were also included to give you practical experience in combating cyber threats. You are now equipped with the knowledge and skills necessary to prevent and if necessary address cyber crimes faced by you or others around you in an increasingly interconnected world. Thank you for being a part of this course. This video will be followed by a reading and an assignment and that would be the end of the course. Thanks for being with us in this journey.